In this video, we're going to have a look at the I Do Secure Disk Creator software. I have the software out right now, and the first thing I'll show you is how to create an ISO file. Where it says Recorder, use the pull-down menu and select Make ISO Image File. Then where it says Image Size, use the pull-down menu and select the size of the image file that you want to uh, create. So if you want it for a DVD disk, use the 4.7 GB DVD uh, option. You can also have the option of using a custom size as well if you like. Uh, click on Add Files and then navigate your PC uh, for the files you wish to put on the uh, disk. So use the left hand uh, scroll bar here and choose the uh, folders you want. And then the files and uh, folders will appear in the right hand box here. So I have a file and I have a folder. Now notice at the bottom left hand corner we have secure area and public area. The secure area is the private area where you can um, secure your data with a password on the disk. Uh, the public area is, um, like it says, for public use. So what you do is you click on the one you want first, like I'll select secure area, and then you just drag the files you want into the right hand box. So I now have a file in there, as you can see, let's click on public area. Now I'm going to add this folder over into the box here. And as you can see, it's made um, a subfolder here. And then I'm just going to, because we've already selected uh, the folder here, it's already open. Um, you can just drag the files into it like so. Okay, so then we need to cross it off here. And now you need to name the disk. I'm going to leave it as my disk. And then I'll select make image. Now this is the password, so this is the password for the secure area. So we'll enter that now. And then confirm it. Then press OK. OK, now you need to navigate on your computer to where you want to put your ISO file. I'll use desktop. And then just press save. Now it's going to go through the process of saving the ISO file, so we're just going to wait. Okay, it says the uh, image file has been created successfully. Press OK. And as you can see here, here is our ISO image file. Okay, now we're going to have a look at creating CDs. First, you need to select your recorder using the portal menu at the top. And it will scan for the disk. Okay, so it says it's ready. And then you need to go add files. And just like before, um, you have a secure area and a public area. Um, you just click on the one you want, like secure area here, and then drag the files into the right hand box. And the same for public area, like so. Then cross it off. Then you need to name the disk. I'll leave it as name disk. And then simply press on burn, and it will go through the process of burning the disk. Okay, now we're going to look at burning an ISO to disk. Select the ISO burner option at the bottom. Then select the recorder. Mine's already selected as you can see. It says it's ready. So where it says ISO file, click on the button on the right hand side. Now you need to navigate your computer for the ISO file. And I've got one down here. And then press open. And then simply press burn and it will burn the image to the disk and it's as simple as that. Okay, now we're going to look at the last option which is to create a virtual disk. Click on the virtual disk button then where it says image file, use the right hand button to navigate for the ISO on your computer. Select the ISO and go to open and then where it says drive, use the pull down menu and select a drive letter. I'll use drive letter G and then I have the option to automatically open the drive selected, go to mount, then OK, and it'll open up the contents of the drive, as you can see here. This is what I created earlier in a test. I'll cross that off, and if you want to unmount the virtual drive, where it says unmount drive, use the pull down menu and select the drive that you want to unmount. There's the drive letter G, and then go unmount and it says we've unmounted the drive successfully. So that was a look at the iDo Secure Disk Creator software. If you want to check out the other software available, 
do check out the website, which is idosoft.com. Thanks for watching.